Ashley Everett has been dancing for her boss Beyonce since she was 17. However, we've got some insider information about what's going down between them. After Queen Bey announced her 2023 Renaissance tour, fans already had a list of guest appearances they look forward to seeing. Everett, Beyonce's lead backup dancer and captain, was top on that list. Unfortunately, she was missing in action, leading to whispers on social media about a possible fallout between the two. Saying that Ashley was liking a couple of shady comments online, some regarding to her pay, some regarding to Beyonce's legendary status in the game, and just, uh, just other shady comments. In today's video, we set the record straight. Welcome to Celebrity Precinct. Grab a popcorn and let's dive in, shall we? Everett the Dancing Sensation was born and raised in Chico, California. Her mom is African American while her dad is white. She began dancing at the age of three and trained in ballet, tap, and jazz dance. At 16, she took her career to another level and relocated to New York City to enroll in the Alvin Alley American Dance Theater. In one of those training sessions, she met Frank Gaxon Jr., Beyonce's lead choreographer at the time. Two months later, he invited the talented Everett to Beyonce's open audition. But that's not the best part. She not only landed a job with Queen Bee herself, but dropped out of school to join the Beyonce Experience Tour. At 19, she became the dance captain. Everett was present in Beyonce's major tours, music videos, commercials, and songs. Her connection with the star exposed her to other music artists like Sierra, Luke James, Usher, and others. She has also appeared in multiple commercials and the VH1 dance drama hit the floor. Some of her most notable dance videos include Single Ladies with over 916 million views on YouTube, Coachella 2018 Super Bowl 47 halftime show, and the 2016 Super Bowl 50 halftime show. Let's not forget her signature red hair, which she carries as an afro. This dancing queen inspires other African-American creatives in the music and dance industry. Back to why she's not at Beyonce's Renaissance tour. There have been dozens of rumors from Beehives, who also double as her fans. They have since gone wild on social media with speculations, ranging from a riff with Queen B, her quitting her job, or finding a deadly secret about her once admired superstar. Well, let's get to the stories and then the truth. The tour gets its name from Beyonce's seventh studio album, Renaissance. It is set to hit 57 arenas globally, and fans will have an opportunity to meet the pop legend for the first time since 2018. One of the most notable rumors is from an Instagram account dedicated to the tour. The account holder claimed that Ashley and all of the old dancers are not a part of the tour. I think the crew is 100% new from what we saw. Without denying or confirming these rumors, Ashley commented on the post saying, you guys, LMAO, I guess she wanted us to find out for ourselves. The unconfirmed story suggested that only men were seen during the rehearsals. The report of her being removed from the crew didn't serve fans well. However, the dance captain has played along with these stories. When Ebony asked if she would be on the Renaissance tour, she responded, you'll just have to stay tuned. She didn't want to raise the dust as much before the event. Days before the event, Ashley got her fans talking by pursuing other dance gigs instead of rehearsing with Queen B. They were freaked out at why Beyonce's right-hand woman would not be by her side during the performance. In an April 26, 2023 TikTok video, she shared a get ready with me post where she was heading to a callback for a commercial. It was only days to the tour. Fans couldn't help but wonder why she was pursuing other projects instead of getting ready for the real deal. While not trying to play the devil's advocate, let's not be too quick to judge. Ashley is a busy woman. Aside from dancing, she owns a lifestyle business and co-founded a CBD company who wouldn't want to build their brand. In another video, Callie Page asked, what are you doing? Are you not going to be there? What you doing? You, are you, you not gonna be there? Another concerned fan, Coco J wrote, Ashley, stop playing with me and go back to rehearsal. It's understandable for beehives to be concerned about Ashley's new ventures, primarily because they have become soul sisters. Regardless, Ashley's Instagram bio still reads dancer and captain to Beyonce. Interestingly, a TikToker at Daily Hip Hop T gave us insight on the alleged disagreement between the stars. In this video, he explained that Beyonce wanted all her dancers to audition for the Renaissance tour. This also included Ashley, who had been with her for over a decade. Beyonce made all of her dancers, plus new dancers, try out because she wanted new 
fresh, young energy. This decision may not have gone down well with her as she believes she would have already had an easy pass. But hey, if Beyonce says jump, you ask how high. Apparently, Ashley is one of many old faces who did make the cut. One Twitter user, at Solange and the MBU, listed a couple of other dancers absent from the tour. He questioned why Kimmy G, Brittany Parks, Ebony Williams, and Hajiba Fami were absent. The audition may be another way of introducing new energy to the performance. There's also a screenshot making the rounds of Ashley liking a comment where someone called Beyonce the most overrated performer of the 21st century. Somebody said the most overhyped performance of all time or the most overhyped performer of all time. And in the likes of that comment, it was Miss Ashley Everett. Yikes. We don't know how real this is, but it further leaves fans worried about the dancer's future with Beyonce. If this is true, why would she go on a liking spree on Bay's hate comments? Another reason for Ashley's absence could be Beyonce dedicating the tour to her LBGTQ plus fans. Her album Renaissance was largely influenced by the black queer origins of house music. She dedicated the album to her late gay uncle who lived his truth despite the discrimination and rejection at that time. Dedicate this award to my Uncle Johnny, the most fabulous gay man I've ever known and I ever knew. Attendees at the opening event in Stockholm noted how the pop star showed love to her LGBTQ plus supporters. Fans were met with massive widescreen images of the Progress Pride flag backing the stage. As if that's not all, she also hired remarkable LGBTQ plus talents like Big Frida and Honey Balenciaga for her tour. Her actions led to thousands of social media posts hailing her boldness to celebrate the group publicly. The pop star probably figured that Ashley was not the perfect fit for the theme. So here's why everyone thinks Ashley Everett may have been replaced. There are indications that Hannah Douglas may have replaced her as the new dance captain. Hannah's agency, Clear Talent Group, announced the tour on Instagram and celebrated all its dancers that made the list. The post read, the time has come and the queen has arrived. Beyonce is kicking off the Renaissance tour tonight in Stockholm, Sweden. Congrats to all our CT dancers on opening night and have a fantastic run. The agency also claimed that Hannah was the new sheriff in town. Although she has been performing with the team since the 2012 Rebel residency in Atlantic City, fans didn't expect her to rise so soon. But then again, these are still rumors. We're keeping an eye on Ashley's Instagram status. We'll let you know when there's a change, so stay tuned. The seeming rift between Beyonce and Ashley reminds us of Kimberly Thompson, her former drummer, who spun a web of claims accusing the goddess of extreme witchcraft and dark magic. In a court document revealed to the public, she said she worked for the singer for seven years, during which Queen B used dark magic and magic spells of sexual molestation. The entire time, this person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships. She also blamed the superstar for murdering her kitten. The drummer filed a restraining order against Beyonce, believing the singer had been tapping her phones and controlling her finances. The pop star never reacted to the allegations. To be honest, no one has been able to explain Beyonce's grip on people. Ashley said that Beyonce made her dye her hair in 2009. Although she didn't explain, she kept dyeing it brighter until it became her trademark and an emblem of her journey into Beyonce's life. She admits that the process took a toll on her hair, but her fans would miss her if she switched it. Beyonce has created a flawless brand, making her one of the most talented entertainers of our time. Who knows what other tales lie between music and stardom? Why was Ashley sacked, or in this case, replaced? Some might say she is seeing a dark side of Beyonce no one is talking about. Is it fair for Beyonce to do away with her right-hand woman just like that? Let us know in the comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest celebrity gossip. See you in the next one.